subtract the hypothetical other deduction figure in step four from the taxable income figured in step one. Six, figure your actual 179 deduction using the taxable income figured in step five. Seven, subtract your actual section 179 deduction figured in step six from the taxable income figured in step one. And finally, eight, figure your actual other deduction using the taxable income figured in step seven. Okay, carryover of disallowed deduction. You can carry over uh, for an unlimited number of years the cost of any qualified section 179 real property that you placed in service in tax years beginning after 2015 and that you elected to expense but were unable to deduct because of the business income limitation. So this disallowed deduction amount is shown on line 13 of form 4562. You use the amount you carry over to determine your section 179 deduction in the next year. Enter that amount on line 10 of your form 4562 for the next year. If you place more than one property in service in a year, you can select the pr properties for which all or part of the cost will be carried forward. Your selections must be shown in your books and records. For this purpose, treat section 179 costs allocated from a partnership or an S corporation as one item of section 179 property. So clearly when we think about the different kind of business entities, you know, the partnership is a flow through entity as is a, an S corp kind of situation. So if you do not uh, make a make a selection, the total when I say flow through entity, meaning they flow through from the the other tax return instead of being taxed at the S corporation level or partnership level, they flow through with a K-1 form to the form 1040s and then are taxed on the form 1040. So the total so the total carryover will be allocated equally among properties you elected to expense for the year if costs from more than one year are carried forward to a subsequent year in which only part of the total carryover can be deducted, you must deduct the costs being carried forward from the earliest year first. All right, special rules for qualified section 179 real property, like real estate typically property. So you can carry over to 2023, a 2022 deduction attributable to the qualified section 179 real property that you placed in service during the tax year and that you elected to expense, but were unable to take because of the business income limitation. See carry forward of disallowed deduction earlier, thus, the amount of any 2022 disallowed section 179 expense deduction attributable to qualified section 179 real property will be reported on line 13 of form 4562. And then how do, how do you elect the deduction? You elect to take the section 179 deduction by completing part one of form 4562. Software obviously is helpful and useful to try to, to guide you through the process here and then you can kind of deconstruct it. We'll possibly look at some software examples in future presentations to get an idea. So the property placed in service in 2022, file form 4562 with either of the following, your original 2022 tax return, whether or not you file it timely and amended return for 2022 filed within the time prescribed by law. So an election, 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 election. Made on an amended return must specify the item of section 179 property to which the election applies and the part of the of the cost of each such item to be taken into account. The amended return must also in include any resulting adjustments to taxable income. So in other words, you would like to do it when you file the actual tax return, right? But if you have to, if you didn't take it and you need to go back and amend it, then you might be able to amend the tax return in order to properly uh, make the election. So election for qualified section 179 real property, you can elect to expense certain qualified real property that you placed in service as section 179 property for tax years beginning in 2022. For more information, see election above also see revenue procedure 2019-8 on page 347 of internal revenue bulletin 2019-3 uh, 2019-3 available 
at the IRS website. Revoking an election. Is it possible to revoke the election? An election or any specification made in the election to take a Section 179 deduction for 2022 can be revoked without IRS pr approval by filing an amended return, as you would kind of expect. Why would you do that? Maybe you, you elected the 179 deduction and, uh, and, and you figured that it was an actual a beneficial thing or possibly you didn't qualify for it and, and you want to correct the situation, amend the return. So the amended return must be filed within the time prescribed by law. The amended return must also include any resulting adjustment to taxable income. That's the standard process for an amended return. Once made, the revocation is irrevocable. That sounds quite definite. So when must you uh, recapture the, the deduction? Uh, you, you may have to recapture the section 179 deduction if in any year during the property's recovery period, the percent of the business use drops to 50% or less. So this is another kind of strange situation when they do these, when they do these kind of weird deviations of a normal accounting process of this big depreciation up front. You can imagine a situation where someone has a business and they basically take this massive 179 deduction, but then they change the property from business use property to personal property. So now it's personal property, not business property anymore. And you used it to take this massive business deduction uh, related to it in the prior year, which you only got the massive business deduction because they allowed you this massive front year loading of the deduction, which normally should have been allocated from normal accounting principles over the useful life of the equipment. So, so now, so, so then you might have to recapture it in that case. So in the year, the business use drops to 50% or less, you include the recapture amount as ordinary income in part four of form 4797. So that's probably fairly unusual of a situation, but you can imagine why they need it there because if they didn't put it there, people might try to manipulate the tax code and, and cheat you know, a little bit, you would think, and that, that might be one way that people try to manipulate the, the system. So you also increase the basis of the property by the recapture amount. Uh, so then you have a basis adjustment, of course, because you don't get the, in essence, the deduction. Recovery periods for property are discussed under which uh, recovery period applies in chapter four. Figuring the recapture amount to figure the amount to recapture, take the following steps. One, figure the depreciation that would have been allowed on the section 179 deduction you claimed. Begin with the year you place the property in service and include the year of recapture. Two, subtract the depreciation figured in one from the section 179 deduction you claimed. Because you don't get that, you're, you're going to have to reverse that. The result is the amount you must recapture. Example, let's check it out. In January 2020, Paul Lamb, uh, a calendar year taxpayer, bought and placed in service section 179 property costing $10,000. The property is not listed property. The property is three-year property. So, so Paul elected a $5,000 section 179 deduction for the property and also elected not to claim a special depreciation allowance. We'll talk about special depreciation later. Paul used the property only for business in 2020 and 2021. In 2022, Paul used the property 40% for business and 60% for personal use. So Paul figures, so now they fell, he fell below the 50% business use, uh-oh, recapture point. So Paul figures the recapture amount as follows. You got the 179 deduction claimed in 2019 was 5,000. So minus allowable depreciation using uh, table 1A, which I'm not gonna jump to here, but you got the 2020, 166650, 2021, uh, 2022 and that's going to give us the total of the the 4,185.20 so the recapture amount then at the eight at the uh, 814.80 so Mo Paul must include then the 814 dollars and 80 cents in income for 2022 so not a uh, not a totally common scenario but you can imagine that scenario coming up from time to time